Welcome everybody. <laughs> Tuesday, beautiful Tuesday in January, everybody's favorite time of the year. So, are we ready to do some enameling? Boy, Peg, you are always just raring to go. How's my sound? Because I forgot to do my sound alerts browser source thing until just now. So, <laughs> I haven't fixed it. Um, there was also a big OBS studio update that I did not do. Cause I'm like, let's not, it was like 30 minutes ago and they're like, Oh, Hey, there's a huge update. Do you really want to? And I was like, no, I, I think I'm going to skip that. So good, good. Well, welcome. And again, um, I have good morning, Kim, Kim, good morning. Good morning. I have, it's a new year. My computer. I was trying yesterday, I'm writing, I'm doing a presentation this weekend at ECU, Eastern Carolina University for a conference they're doing. And yesterday I was, I spent all day and I'm not done with it. I'm writing this um, presentation in power and it's just PowerPoint and Photoshop and my laptop, it is just blue screening, blue screening. It can't handle it. It has to close. And I'm literally like, I have this whole thing where I, I work on the computer where I all, like if I have to have like two things open, I'll close once. It's like, oh crap, I have to open up Photoshop. So I'm like, all right, see you later, PowerPoint. Let me go do this. And so I, this morning I bit the bullet and I've purchased a new computer, a laptop. So hopefully, and I'm actually another big dun, 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 this news flash for my entire life. I have been not a Mac person, a PC person, I guess is what it is. And I just purchased a Mac, a MacBook, a MacBook Pro. And I was literally, I asked, it was the stupidest question. I asked Warren, um, oh, am I gonna get Windows 11 on? No, I mean, I knew I, after it came out of my mouth, obviously I'm not gonna get Windows 11. And I was like, well, what do they call those things? Is there like an operating? And he's like, yes, sweetie, it's called OS, OS. And anyway, so I'll be the proud owner. It's not coming. I did splurge and get extra, what's it when it's fast? Extra memory, not because I need it. So unfortunately, when I toggled that extra $200 purchase, I went from getting delivered tomorrow to getting delivered in two and a half weeks. But I think it'll be worth it. So I'm getting not 16 whatever, I'm getting 32 whatevers. That is honestly the limits of my information about it. I'm very excited. And I think I might also at the same time, and I know we're gonna get to enameling, but I'm also gonna say goodbye to the Office Suite, Mac Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, in favor of Google Docs. Very exciting times. So yeah, there we go. So today is the big day because yes, guess what has arrived? The gold leaf, the gold foil has, oh God, what is that? Oh, so I thought that was falling out. The gold foil has arrived. And actually, let me switch over. I've got, I also did workbench, workbench and me. So I guess, whatever. Um, it has arrived from sure, pure, pure candles. And I love how like, this is, wow, what kind this is, uh, you know, a pretty expensive piece of gold and it's just not even inside this is just it here's the leaf this one's looking a little bit less than the last piece of gold, but it, it'll be good once we get a texture on it so that is ready to go and so we are going to be starting the i know i have such trepidation we're going to be working today. I mean, we're not quite ready for this yet. And let me show you where we are in addition, because I think what we're going to do in between while we're waiting for this thing to cool, dry, do whatever, we're probably going to continue with some of these really easy um, earrings. So, but I did get the, this took a while to get on. I got the wires um, and the base coats of these uh, are ready to go, which I'm probably not gonna get to until next week. 
And I've got this pair of earrings that will match. That will also be good. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing. But this is the thing we're going to be working on the most. I also went ahead and chose all the colors for that. I've made a few little adjustments. And so there we have it. So let's go ahead and snag. We're not quite ready for these wires just yet, but we will soon enough. We've got, this is, these are the wires for the inside of the bracelet. So they'll be like that. And these are the wires, hold on. Oh, of course, let me, oh, I didn't even need that. I'm gonna, let me cut this. Let's see if I can cut this without messing it up. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just scooch everything over so I can get this piece of paper out. I didn't realize it was a whole thing. Honestly, those can go someplace else. Got those. There we go. Just like that. So we don't need that. And I'm probably gonna take this Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I meant to print out. We'll see if we get to the, there we go. Just so it's easy to work with. So, oh, let's just throw that everywhere. We have the wires. So we don't need this. These are all the colors for everything. And I'm like, do I really need all of these? Like, look at all these very, very similar yellow greens. Yes, I do. I thought about it and then I'm like, you know what? I deserve it. We'll just set that right there. And we don't need these things. You would think I would do this before, but I spend so much time fussing with the microphone, like, mm, um, that I just have not we'll set that right there. All right, so we're gonna say goodbye to this for now. I'm just gonna set them on the other table. Also, I'm going to go ahead and turn the kiln on. Turn the kiln on. We've got that and also wires. We don't need the colors just yet, although we'll bring them back soon enough. That is good. While I'm out, while I'm standing up, let me get the enamel that we'll, we're gonna start with, which is hiding back here. That will be good. All right, so we've got the enamel. We're going to have our base. We definitely need some water and some clear fire. So let me get that. Clear fire is good. Oh, I've set the kiln for the usual temperature, which is 13, sorry, 1430 Fahrenheit, 776 Celsius. And then a little tiny bit of plain water. There we go. So settle in. We're not rushing this. Not that I ever rush anything, but I'm really gonna take my time. All right, we don't need any of these. So these can go over here. And I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of this. Oh, Camille, I didn't say good morning. Good morning. Here we go, a little of this. Let me snag a little Dawn and we'll be raring to go. 
Dawn. Tiny. Oh, God, that was too much. Oh, and bubbles. Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> All right, let, let, let me try that again. And I. Is this going to be the day? Is this the day? The bubbles seem like a good, honestly, the bubbles were like the best thing that's happened to me. I'm so excited about those bubbles. Now, let me try that again. I am going to get some fresh because I put too much in. Yes, it's bracelet day. I, huh, dreading. And to be honest, I took a day off over the weekend, completely off. And I don't regret it because it was really good. I definitely needed it. I wanted to come in. I woke up really wanting to come into the studio and getting some things done. But then I walked into my studio. And I was just overcome with exhaustion. I couldn't even put my finger. And I was like, you know what? I think my brain, you know, my heart is willing, but my body was not. So I just took the whole day off. We walked around, you know, we walked around Lake Green, Greenfield Lake. You know, I just raked up some leaves there we go let's try this again you know what would help is a piece of plain paper there we go helps to focus all right and you know what would help is if i had a ruby tiny one of these a travel size there we go just ready there we go good enough and more bubbles Feel. Hey, bubble. Oh, double bubbles. Oh, oh, look, there's one right there. All right, now we're done. We're done. All right, we don't need that. So here's, let me tell you the plan. I'm going to grab a pencil. I've got this is the trivet that I'm going to be working on. It's the trivet that I worked on all the other ones. So we're going to be working vertically. I don't know if you if it helps to see it kind of like that. We're going to be working like this. It's pretty, you know, solid. We don't want it to tip over. So we have to be a little careful going in and out of the kiln. I only tipped, I've made, this will be the fourth bracelet. Fourth bracelet. The first bracelet was kind of a proof of concept that had a lot of, you've never seen that bracelet, the first one. And I've only tipped one over and it wasn't in the kiln. It was because I put it on, now it's definitely whatever. I put it on the wrong trivet. I got the, this is the special trivet. Uh, and I actually tipped it over when I was fooling with it outside the kiln. So I know it seems like weirdly, this is slightly wider than the other bracelet, but the, whatever, it's fine. We'll make it work. If it feels like it's not working, it's the best option. So mark, I, oh, I also need to get some, I gotta get a sifter. Yeah, we're good. We gotta get a couple more things. But what we're gonna do is we're going to be working on the top, the inside and the outside at the same time. And how that's gonna happen is we're going to kind of break this into, honestly, quarters is probably the best. I thirds, it's the inside's a lot easier than the outside. Things tend to kind of want to fall off more on the outside because there's a little bit more blah, whereas things tend to just kind of run to the bottom. So, you know, ideally it'd be great to do it in thirds. Maybe we'll mark thirds and see, but the outside never quite works out like that. So we'll be doing the inside here and the outside up here fire it, pivot, inside, outside, fire it, pivot, inside, outside, just to get a coat of enamel on the interior and the exterior. So that is the plan. And the interior is entirely black, coat, just opaque black. I'm not doing anything fancy. And so I'm going to be wet packing. Obviously we can't really sift really easily into, I guess you could if you got a little sifter in there, but we're going to be wet packing the black in here and sifting just one layer of clear. I'm going to be using our Sawyer number three flux, which is clear enamel. 
on the outside. And we're just gonna try to get all the way around and then we'll talk about foils on the outside, just wires on the inside. So I'm actually going to set, let's get the actual wires the, out of the way for now. But I also do need to get a sifter and I need to get my Sawyer number three. So, and the kiln is on, heating up. All right, pristine it is, and a sifter. I could get not as pristine. We've got that, 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 that. And hold on, I'm having, I tied my apron in the back, which I always hate. I just wrap it around, I should wrap it around because I hate when it feels like a knot in the back of my thing. So I'm just gonna take a moment. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's correct. I am, you know, it's stressful to get started with something new. I'm not comfortable with this process. I'm not, like, this isn't something I do every day. So yes, before, and we're gonna do it again. Come up here, just to kinda, I need to be able to see what's going on. So I think that's pretty good. And maybe we'll zoom in a little bit, not too much. How's that? That's not bad. I've got Sawyer number three Flux. Remember that's clear enamel. And I have two sifted versions. One is pristine. Nothing has ever gone back in here. And this is kind of where I've sifted it, picked out what's obviously bad and put it in. I'm gonna use this because we're gonna be putting um, foil over it, so why not? not? Not necessary to use my pristine, pristine, my mostly pristine will be fine. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to wet pack first or do I want to sift first? I don't remember what I did the last time, that's why. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna wet pack first because sifting is delicate. And so let us do that. I'm going to be using 1990 Grisaille unleaded because that's the interior of the bracelet that's gonna be, you know, touching your wrist. Just might as well use an unleaded enamel. And I like this unleaded enamel. So I'm definitely gonna get a little bit more in here. This is just some mixed with water. And let me get, we're gonna be using quite a bit of it. So I might as well get a lot of it. I know. I got water, good, we got the water. There we go. Let me get a small piece of paper towel. There we go, we got some of that. A brush would be good. Brush, brush over here slightly bigger because it's a bigger piece um i think we can let's see what brush do i want to get a new brush oh i think i know it doesn't really matter i know this one looks a bit frayed we'll see how it looks in the water and that'll be fun. We're gonna use that. Ah, oh, good morning, Lulu. Yes, the bracelet. <laughs> oh, this bracelet. I, I'm so scared. I'm not scared. I'm gonna, it's gonna be. Fun. 
I got this. I don't know why there's this fear. Like I've made this bracelet. You saw that other crazy that I made. It's not going to drip down, but my brain is like, oh, it's going to drip down. Today's it's all just going to fall apart. No, I, there's some magic that it's called surface tension or something like that. So last thing I want to mark a third and I'm going to do it in graphite. Maybe the graphite will stick around through the firings and I won't have to keep marking it. So I'm just going to mark it. Yeah. Do you think we can, it's a bit, or should I mark fourths? Let's do fourths. Because the thing I do actually remember is I kept wanting to do thirds in the last bracelet and it's thirds is fine on the interior, but the exterior, all the stuff that's a little too close to the edge, because I'm not using any glue, I'm just wet packing. And maybe it'd be different if I use some glue, but I was worried about any discoloration. So we're going to do fourths and I'm just Should be good. I'll mark it here. We will mark it here. We're going to definitely lose some height. Like, interesting to see um, because. I didn't put enough edges. I definitely have to do more grinding to smooth out these kind of ridges. So we'll see if that's a problem later. It's all learning. So, all right. I can see that to temperature. So we'll start interior. You can see I know exactly where to go. Oh, and maybe that graph burn away in the kiln. It always burns away when you want to keep it. I've never had much luck with that, but we'll see. So I'm going to, let's see if we can, we can see what's going on. It's going to be hard. And I'm just going to start wherever. I'm going to put some water. We're not sifting just yet. In fact, we can pivot it a little bit. Pivot as we go. And I just, it doesn't have to be thick or thin. It's pretty going to be pretty thick and I'm going to be grinding the inside. So I'm not worried about getting some. On the edge, but hopefully. And honestly, it's kind of easier to kind of flip it back and forth because you want to get it right up to the edge. Nice even coat. While I'm doing this, oh, I can announce. Well, it's not, I'm not quite ready to announce it, but if you know what the Enamel Art Jam is or participated in the Enamel Art Jam 2022, I'm just kind of finalizing the details, the dates, what's going to be happening. So in the next month or two, that will be happening. If you don't know what the Enamel Art Jam is, I will tell you it's, well, it's not that exciting. It is, you know, it's really not that many competitions and it's truly a competition amongst yourselves. It's not, there's no prizes. Although there might be some, I'm, I'm thinking this year, not like best in show, but pick some specific criteria, best use of color, best, 
you know, the same, you know, that kind of thing best. And it's still kind of like a bunch of kind of sub prizes and no actual monetary prize. It won't cost anything to participate. And what, if you are interested, you can go to enamelartjam.com. I purchased, that'll show you what, who participated last year. Um, it's completely free. And all you have to do to participate is you sign up with me and I will, there's always a theme and everyone has their own unique thing, which I am kind of on board with. Last year, it had kind of almost like a fantasy or, um, you know, just a kind of a fun element. I created a list of I think 12 words, but there were two sets of words. And so you, when you signed up, you randomly got chosen one, you know, out of the thing, two of the words. And I think mine was subterranean garden. That was my thing. But we had a lot of interesting themes. Everyone has their own unique theme. And you have three months to make whatever you want in enamel. The only, the only rule is it has to feature enamel as the main element. It doesn't have to be jewelry. It could be anything, any style, whatever. No rules. And you're just challenging yourself to make something. And then at the end of the three months, everybody submits their photos and I create an online exhibition. Easy peasy, easy peasy. And it reminded me because that huge net bracelet that I had made, that was for Enamel Art Jam last year that I created. So it's really just, and there, anyone from around the world is welcome to participate. Again, it is free. It is free. And I had thought I was, I had all these lofty aspirations of like trying to get people to a spot, like to get sponsorships because it's me doing 100% of the work. I've bought the website. I've done all the stuff. It'd be nice to like, and I don't want to charge anything to participate because I think especially when you're not in the United States, you know, there's a barrier to are like fifty dollars so so we'll see we'll see but that's going to be happening i'm thinking um oh diane hello oh um a little crackly hold on well let me check my um i've got the let me just i have it in my front pocket hold on let me just Make sure it's all good. Maybe we'll test it. Hello, is it still crackly? Yeah, I could do that, um, but I didn't want it to feel like a money grab. You know, I just that that also makes I don't, pref you know. But I'm like, it's not that much. It's you know, actually, it's, it was a ton of time, <laughs> but it was mostly just my time um, and the cost of the website. Hello, is that better? Um, got my mic all right well there was nothing different except did it get better when I pulled it out of my front pocket I could put it in my back pocket um that's really the difference here so all right sorry yeah maybe it was just yeah who knows yeah and to be honest I'd had the whole cord I was just trying to be all arty about it um so yes yeah, so enamel art jam Go to enamelartjam.com if you have questions about what I'm talking about. And you can see who participated last year. I think we had quite a hundred people. Uh, we had more than hundred people sign up, but um, I can't remember how many people actually finished. And you don't have to, there's no stress. There is no stress. Um, and I think the only other thing that I'm gonna do differently is I just hate Zoom. We did a bunch of Zoom calls and I did not, I just don't like Zoom. I think I'm maybe, I'm triggered by Zoom. Is that a fair thing to say? I just cannot. So we will maybe do it here, uh, which I know people can't necessarily talk, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So. Oh, so we have our wet pack here. That is, is that a quarter? Yeah, I guess that's a quarter. That is fine. And now we're gonna get that out of the way. 
and all right sounds much better all right so back pocket and you know let the cord hang loose <laughs> i guess um and let me get a larger brush let's get this one will be good and again we're using our sawyer flux and i am going to just i don't want to get a lot of I don't want to have to pick it out of the interior. So I'm going to just carefully do one of these things. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. So, oh, I forgot to mark. Hold on. Let's mark it on this side. There we go. Yeah, I think quarters are definitely going to be best. And we're just going to Put that right like that and get some of this. Oh, you know I'm tipping this thing over. I feel like this one is a little bit, it's about three millimeters wider and it's not sitting quite as firmly in the trivet as the last bracelet did. I guarantee you I'm tipping it over at some point, but you know, I'm just going to try my best. And I thought about making some sort of a, if I start doing a ton of these, I'm going to make some sort of a custom trivet for it. But that is not happening today. So we've got that. I'm going to pull up just a little bit. And just, I'm going to hold it. I don't want it to drip down. That's good. Hold it up just. There we go. And then we're just going to pull that out. Put that right like that. And now, the other thing is don't ever carry it on this trivet because it is not that good. I'm gonna go put this whole thing on the, the kiln is up to temperature again. I have it set for 1430 Fahrenheit, 776 Celsius. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this under the lamp to warm it up, dry it out, and we will move forward. And I think while we're doing that, we might grab those two pairs of earrings and just kind of work on those as something to do in between unless you have questions about the enamel art and i i expect all three of you all nine viewers need to participate in this at any any skill level if you've never i had you know very experienced enamelists take part we'll let that dry let's pull these and complete rote beginners. And you'll see, I was so pleased at the quality of the final submissions. And, you know, I think the only, the only rule besides trying to do something based on, and you can interpret it in any way you want, um, is to try to challenge yourself. So if that means just doing enamels, so be it. Um, so, you know, just try to push the envelope for yourself. So that's why I did that bracelet. Um, and that is, that is it. Oh, I haven't figured out the dates, but if you go to enamelartem.com, there is a contact us form that you can fill out to get on the notification list that goes straight to my email box. So go there, sign up. I'm thinking because quite frankly, February's a monster month for me. I'm thinking of starting the, the official start being like know, March 1st and then you'll have three months. So March 1st would be when the thing starts and everybody gets their assignment. Like every, we'll do a, a live thing where I pick the two adjectives or words that will be your personal um, theme for your piece. And then you'll have three months. And last year, I extended it a couple weeks because I was running behind. So three months and maybe a little bit of change. It's not written in science. You know, it's, there's, 
as long as you have your stuff to me by the time I'm putting the website up. So March, April, May, June. So the end would probably be officially June. And then I would try to get the website and the online exhibition done June 15th. So that's kind of the situation with that. And that is good. I wonder if those, I don't really want to, you know, it's hard to kind of do more than one thing with this. Uh, but you know what I'm going to do is clean the sifting station because kind of gets sifted all over. There we go. I'm going to do this. Put that right in there. But if you've already signed up to be here, you don't need to do it again. I have everybody who's ever filled out that form. I've got a lot of people. Um, yes, well, it's just because, you know, the Saul Bell Award kind of went away, you know, and there weren't that many competitions that were open to, you know, United States artists, but this is open for everybody in the entire world. I think we had, we had a lot of different countries. Um, so I'd like to get as many different countries as possible. Um, but so just, I think it's good to just, I like to have a, a deadline. So I think it's, it's a good time to fire and maybe another minute or so, another minute. So yeah, there's really nothing to do. Let's just chill out for a minute until we really start getting the wires on. I know I, I had, I had notions of multitasking, so. But, and I have some ideas because I think the last, I had like, the last, last year was kind of, I was thinking kind of fantasy, you know, I feel like that there's gonna be a more emotional element in the theme words this year, but we'll see. Maybe that's too deep, um, but I did kind of like, you know, what were some of the other ones? One was Subterranean Garden. There was Celestial was a war. You know, they were very, yeah, you know, I thought they were kind of fun. I, I thought they were fun. So I wanted to get Celestial Creature, but I didn't get it. So this year I might stack the deck, you know, dealers, prerogative and all, but and hopefully we'll get a lot more a lot more participation this year. Not that we didn't get. I was so pleased with last year. All right, you know what? Let's go fire that thing. Let me go to the. Oh wait, let's go to the kiln cam. There we go. There we go. So, keep your fingers crossed. If something tips over in the kiln, there may be swearing. Um. Don't hold your breath. So, hold on. Wipe everything off. I feel like I don't like this one. They all feel a little bit. All right. All right. Probably could. Probably could let it another minute, but I'm going to do it. Do it. Do it. All right, two minutes, one minute and a half. Right, I guess we could zoom in. Zoom. That's 
see how it looks. I guess you can't really see. Never mind. Because I need to be able to open the door and not hit the camera. So I guess I could put it on the other side. I know, I'm fooling around. 1315. There we go. This and then down. Is that as close as we can get? Probably. You can kind of see the bracelet and yeah, let's see if it's melted. Not quite. But the moment things are melted, that's when I'm pulling it out. Well, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I forgot that that Sawyer is a little bit harder than the black. So the black's going to be melted before the Sawyer. That's okay, though. And it's a big piece, so it's a big heat sink. Things have with these bracelets, they do tend to take about... 20 to 30 seconds longer in general just because they're they have a lot of mass so here we are at 1430 now we're good now let's see if we can get it out i'm like here we go oh no we're not done on the front seat go right back in the top was wasn't at orange peel yet so now it's probably going to be another two minutes so yeah because i can see it melted on the bottom but not the top we'll get the hang of it we'll get the hang of it hey drew how are you Me not trip. I've got a lot of things in front of the kiln. Let me. All right. So because we put it back in, you know, it all dropped. I'm giving it an extra soak. To be honest, I just want to get a really good melting on the exterior. So, and you know, now I'm thinking, did I even use this flux on the last bracelet? I don't know. So when this hits 1430 again, for the second time. Click it. There we go. Now I bet we're good. It's just, I can't, I literally can't see the top. So whatever the top is, that's what it is. Oh, that's better. Just, and Better to just kind of let it cool down. And the other thing about these bracelets, because of the mass, they take a little bit longer to fire and they take a lot longer to cool off. So I'll probably give it a minute or two. But I guess I could get Thing. Let's go back over. Well, hey, Margaret. Good afternoon. Let's go to the, let's go to the workbench one. Good afternoon, Drew, Margaret. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, so it's just, I quite literally have never done like anything like this. I didn't even, didn't, I don't think I even made a, a video of the last two bracelets maybe I made it I did a few quickies but so bear with me while we kind of wait for things to cool down but you know what we can do is let's start talking about because there is going to be so much downtime I think it would be okay to get a little second mini work area going that we can kind of zoom in and out and it's going to be these earrings remember these earrings that we started a hundred years ago i got you know i fired them because my friend betty showed up and we i you know quit it early a little bit um 
We'll continue with those. They don't have that many colors. So that could be what we'll work on in between the things. So I'm gonna get a little tray. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull the, the bracelet off the trivet and onto something cool to continue the cooling process. And then we'll get another quarter on. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. There we go. I think that's actually pretty good. So let's just, yeah, this just stays. There we go. Stick you right there. And I also, because this is the only one of these I have, I need that to cool as well. So that is going to do its thing. We're going to pull. Do you think that would be good or a bigger? I think that's okay. While that's cooling. And that's not one I even, it holds onto the heat so much that I, usually I do with the touching thing, but oh, I've learned my lesson with those. So we'll keep that. And then we're gonna move this right here. And yeah, so basically, for these earrings, this is going to be the in-between project, these little guys. You know, we could also bring, where did, oh, that other pair of earrings. Let's pull the colors that we're using for this onto this platter, and then we will have everything we need. 737 chartreuse chrome, N37 chartreuse, Nino Mia. I know we have them. Well, two N37s, we don't need both. One will, one will probably be sufficient. And then we have an N42, there's our dark. And then we have a couple of blues. We've got, this is, I believe the forget me not that I didn't bother to label, good for me. This is 546 blue and then N55, very pale blue. Those are all the colors. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the orange in here. Did I decide? Oh, I think I decided to even use the crazy new orange, um, which will be exciting. So let's go see if the bracelet is cool. We've chosen this. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And Got that. Do I care? Nah. Maybe. Yeah, we'll we'll pull these over too. There we go. Let's see what's going on. All right, good. And this is cool. Good. There we go. So that's our little side project that will go in and out, which we don't need. And here's our first little bit. So you can see we've got here to here, we've got one layer of clear enamel up here. We've got our first coat of black and we'll just pivot it around. Did our marks stick around? Sort of. Let's re, I'm gonna keep putting the marks back because I found them surprisingly helpful. So obviously here, did I mark it on this side? Yeah, no, here, 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 and here. So it doesn't matter. Well, I liked starting on the inside with the black, which is what we're going to do. Well, hey, Susan, welcome, welcome. Welcome to bracelet day. And you know, the thing is I wish, unfortunately I have to go to ECU this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm talking at a conference. And so I'm not gonna be able to devote the weekend. I would love to just do this bracelet, but you know, gotta do the, Got to do the things. So we need the black, the smaller brush. Oops. And we're just going to go from here to here, quarters, which seems, I know it feels like not doing much. You want to do a third, 
but I really did kind of learn my lesson about doing thirdsies. You end up doing it in four things anyway. So I'm just a nice thin coat. It doesn't have to be. We're going to put the wires directly on top of this coat. So let me get the water. Oh, there it is. Honestly, I think half the battle with a project like this is getting out of your own head about it. Like being too afraid of it failing. Doing it one-handed here. Straight up there. There we go. That should be good. Now get the black out of the way. And we're going to do this area here. And remember, I liked how that worked. And I might make it a little bit smaller. So, oh, hold on. GMT. Oh, yeah, Vimeo always gives it the time in whatever time period you are, it translates it for you. Um, I guess I should have, I knew that intellectually, but I didn't quite figure out. So, yeah, um, Vimeo is trying to help you. <laughs> there we go. We got that and a nice coat of our clear fire. That should be good. And then a little sifting. Doop, doop, doop. Just like that. Move this out of the way. I don't mind if there's a little bit that gets in there. It won't make any difference. All right, so we've got our sifted clear, our wet packed black, which I'm going to do a quick wicking because it will dry a lot faster. And... See if we can just wick it from one side. Should be good. There we go. Hold on, I got a garbage thing. So I'm going to go carry this over to the heat lamp and let it dry. that dry. Now, give that a moment. So we'll just take, we'll save this. I, it's kind of infused with clear. And I'm just going to, it's a bit wasteful, but So while that is drying, I'm going to give it a good couple of minutes. Let's 
bring our little tray of side quests over. Let's get another bit of plain clear just so we can see what's going on. Let's see if I can even work. And let's unhook these colors, these sweet little blues. Oh, I need to get that orange. Just to see if that orange works out. Oh, um, I did, if, remember the orange? Remember the orange, the orange? Uh, I think it's coral red 112 shower that I was, you know, super stoked about. I actually uh, e got an email, I was emailing back and forth with um, the woman who owns Email Healer in Switzerland and she's got plenty of it. You just have, and it doesn't show up when you do a search. It's not with the regular reds. It's in the sales section of the website. So go to sales. It's in there. She's got plenty of it. Um, a lot of people have ordered it. <laughs> so, um, so that is good. So if you were hoping to get that orange, and just remember also that orange is wildly reactive. So don't think that's going to be an everyday orange for you. So don't order like you don't need an enormous, I mean, order what you want. I've already reordered more, so I will be just fine. And I need some clear enamel, a clear enamel, clear, clean water for this. She has lump. She has lump. Well, I just ordered lump. Um, cause I, when I, here's what I did. I, I didn't see the lump and then I, so I ordered just the powder. Um, and then I emailed her back saying, Hey, you have this in lump. Can I get it instead? And she was, they were on vacation for Christmas and she emailed me back yesterday saying, I've got the lump. I'm going to switch it out. So I believe the lump is available. That is also in the sales section. It is, I know I said it was a really easy to use website. It's a, it's a fussy website like because you want to look at everything at once but then the website kind of breaks so but it's a good website you know in that it's in english and it was easy to do so um an iori number from hmrc in order to be able to order leaded enamels Oof, that's unfortunate in the UK. That sounds like paperwork. That sounds like a lot of paperwork. Um, so yeah, I got, I, yeah, that's, we, we hate rules here in America. Well, we love rules and we hate rules. It depends what kind of rules, who's going to benefit from the rules. So, you know what? I bet that straw, you know, I fooled around. Let me actually, let me do a mini wash on these and then we'll fire that. I'm going to up a little bit. Let's go ahead and zoom just out a little bit. There we go. Just to see. Oh yeah. And do we need the kiln? Mm, yeah. Well, I'm about to walk over to the kiln. So we'll just, I can see I've got, I've got, see a fleck that I want to get rid of. This was the one I was using for the black enamel. I don't want to use that because it's probably a fleck of enamel. I did that or be that. Oh, that registered. I thought, well, I mean, I guess if you have a business, you have to have a VAT thing. And is that just because, is that just like a national sales tax? I really don't quite get what that is. It always seems expensive. Seems expensive. There we go. So we're just going to do a quick little mini wash on these. Pour that right there. And I guess that's because you guys left the European. I don't know. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about things like that because A, I'm probably put my foot in my mouth with the facts. But. There we go. So we have that. We have this. Well, and I just started, re I, I'm officially in my Etsy store shipping to 
worldwide again, but just for kits and earrings, nothing more than like $200 because it's not worth it. And I, I just shipped off my first two orders, one to Australia and one to Edinburgh, Edinburgh. And I'm like, here's hoping because I just, you know, it was such a ha it was just, it was fine for years. And then all of a sudden everything got lost was ridiculous so I'm hoping but Etsy thankfully does all that that stuff for you they're like don't you if you buy it if you buy the postage through us that we they do all of those forums so we'll see keep your fingers crossed if you're one of those people that ordered because I feel like you know a kit if I have to eat that you know if I have to eat the loss for a kit that's fine but it's a lot bigger loss for, you know, you know, something a little bit more involved, like a big piece of jewelry or something. Oh, okay. So for, for businesses then. All right, we did this one. There we go. All right, so these are all nice and clean, ready to go, but it's a good time to fire our bracelet. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go over to the kiln cam. There it is. And again, see if we feel Good. Hmm. No, maybe I'm gonna try this one. All right. All right, a solid probably two minutes. You can kind of see what's going on in the kiln, but there's really nothing to see. It's not that exciting. So, but you can enjoy looking at that. Oh, what you know what we can also do is the foils. We can do the foils. I guess I can, I'm gonna go back up to the workbench cam. There we go, just because there really isn't, it's not that exciting to see that what's in the kiln. So while that is coming up, see I'm definitely multitasking um, because we're going to be we have two more after this, and then we're going to be getting to the silver foil on the outside. So, or do we want to just do the inside? We'll decide. But we've got these. I'm not going to deal with it right now. I'm going to set these over here. And 1371. I guess I'll mosey over and see where we are with that. But yeah, I, I didn't promise this would be a smooth transition, so. Here we go. Yeah, we'll do the wires. We'll do the foil as a separate thing. That's what I've decided. So after we get it all on, we'll do all of the wires on the inside and then deal with the outside. I am pleased with that decision. There we are. So I'm going to give it an extra 
15 seconds just to make sure the top has an opportunity to melt. 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 That was three times. All right. Let that chill out. And while that is cooling, I'm going to bring this back and we will, should we start? We'll do these easy peasy pieces. We'll get a coat. Oh, you little guy. See? Multitasking is not my friend. There we go. We'll just get a coat on these guys. And oh yeah, I was going to walk over and get the orange, but we'll do that at the end. So we've got that and our piece is cooling in about a minute or so. I'll go pull it off. There we go. So we'll zoom in. How's this? I'm not going to even use my microscope. It is just probably a little bit of overkill for this. So we'll start with this little guy. Remember we have one coat on these. They look real cute. Cute as a button. And I will start on the green. Sounds like a plan. So little bit. Was this it? Let me make sure. Yeah, that is fine. I heard it crackle. Oop, there it is. It's un it's unseated itself. So probably easy to pull it off now. We'll get this color on. Let's see if we can Oh, we're gonna do this color. Once I get this little leaf, I'll walk over and go pull it off. Just like that. There we go. And then little bit, you know, I might want to do the tiniest little bit of this N42 just right here and right here, just the barest amount. Now you probably don't even remember that we put a little yellow, but we're not going to put any yellow over it. We're going to continue like this. over here would be good and then our chartreuse chrome very very pretty and a little bit over here a little water Now I'm just going to walk over and pull it off the trivet and put it on the cooling piece of steel to continue its relaxation session with. There we go. Put you right there. There we go. Entropy. That was the word I was looking for. I have like a five second delay on words that I don't use often. So let's go ahead and get the blue in here. I'm very pleased with the dark blue, but I don't want it to go any darker around these edges. So I'm actually not gonna use that one. So I'm actually not going to use that color, but I am going to, this color is nice right in here. 
and in here, and in here. right in there and then a little of this 546 just to kind of wrap it up and here and honestly I'm just going to do 546 maybe yeah over the whole thing keeping it simple today and by the time we do that I bet our bracelet will be cool Look at us multitasking. I wonder if there's a saint of multitasking. I might do a little bit of the the lighter right there, just so it kind of glows a little bit from the inside. A little bit over here. That one's good. Boop. Get this little guy on. Remember, he's going to come all the way up over here. Just like that. It's like the intermission music. And a little bit more of that pale blue and 55. Just to keep things interesting. Now, do we have a trivet? Oh, we do, we do. Let's go ahead and put you, we're not gonna fire you just yet, we're just gonna let you chill out. So, but we're gonna put you under the lamp to dry and let's go see, let's go get our guy, let's go get the bracelet. There we go. Put these back, just for now. There we go. All right. So we have half of our interior done, half of our first coat that's underneath the foil. And now we're just going to continue along. Oh, look, it, it did kind of save it. The marks stayed a little bit. They were persistent enough that I can just, why don't I keep the, oh, here it is. The pen. I was like, why don't I keep it out here? But it's right here. So here. Yeah. I should probably just put a scribe there because I'm going to have to poly, you know, grind this up a little bit anyway. So let's go this way. Does it matter? Probably not. Let's get that. We need our black and our brush for the black. So honestly, Just a little bit more water. I have separate waters for the black and all the other colors so I don't, you know, contaminate. 
I'm going to a little bit of water to kind of spread it around a little bit. Also, just a reminder, if you did want to subscribe to me on Twitch, that would be lovely, totally optional. But also a reminder, if you do subscribe and you want to stay subscribed, you have to re-up it every month. So when I get to 100 people, I'm actually down because people's subs subscriptions are starting to lapse, where I think we're down to like 28. So we're losing ground with the free earring giveaway. But um, that's fine. I honestly, it's all good. Um, I almost would prefer you go to my Vimeo channel and subscribe to my Vimeo tutorials. You get all, get lots of wonderful, very intimate project-based tutorials there. Hold on, let me throw my Vimeo thing up. There it is. There's the Vimeo thing. And so if you're just going to pick one way to support your favorite artist, buying jewelry is also quite a great option. Uh, but I know that jewelry is a bigger investment. So especially if you are wanting to learn how to enamel. So there is that. And just a little bit more. Also love these lives too. Love it. Oh, Vimeo, thank you. Yes, and I know Vimeo can be a bit of a bear. Trust me, um, there might be better options, but I'm not gonna be able to switch away from Vimeo because there's so many reasons. Um, you know, they kind of have me by the throat because I don't have a list. They don't give you a list of the subscribers. So if I leave Vimeo, I have to start from scratch. And quite frankly, Vimeo is kind of Besides selling jewelry, which is good for me, Vimeo is kind of my number one um, thing that brings me money. So I can't really afford to abandon Vimeo, even though, you know, they don't have the greatest customer service. And I acknowledge that. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So two-thirds of the way done with that and now we're going to sift let's go over to the sifting station let's just move this out of the way that let's bring sift sifting station b over here and let's see where is our end here to here our nice clean brush. There's like, I've got three separate brushes, three separate waters. There we go. So we're gonna overlap just a little bit. I see some flecks of orange, that's fine because this is all going underneath. There we go. I'm gonna lift up just a little bit so I have a little room to squeeze under there. Oh, crap, I forgot to put just to keep there we go pull that out now we're going to go let this dry and we'll maybe get that other earring done there we go we have some sort of a workflow Oh yeah, no, I mean, things take 
forever, forever. And that's, you know, hard because especially when you get started, it's a big time sink. You, especially if you know you might make a mistake, you, you know, remember the sunk cost fallacy. It's very true in an amylene. So we'll put this right there. Sorry, you get precedence of the heat lamp over those earrings. 11.30. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to the foil today. I was like, I probably could have gotten started. But that's okay. You know, it's all good. So let me just paint that. A little bit of this. And here we go. Now, I do need to grab that orange enamel remember let's see if it's over here what are the chances that it is do i even have orange yellow lime we're going to use that coral 112 for the tiny little dots in there might as well get it started i'm actually going to be for my vimeo uh, i know i know i promised the opalescence we're not starting that on the 15th we're actually Finishing because I never finished that video about the pinks, the yellows, sorry, the pinks, the reds, the oranges and the purples. I haven't done the oranges and the purples. I'm doing it now. And I've actually switched up the colors because I'm going to, I want to see that purple that we got from shower and that orange 112 coral in those earrings. Vimeo coming up on the 15th. So let's go find it. Um, a dupe, a dupe, a dupe. Orange, orange, green, red. Garnet. Okay, it's in here. Red. Shower. Where did you go? Sifted, sifted. Amazing. Unless it's gone away. Red, red, red. Well. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh. Sawyer. 291 orange. You've got. Hmm. Or it's just decided that, would I put it with the pinks? No, I probably put it with the reds. Oh, here it is, duh, literally right there. Here it is. That's the crazy orange. Remember how beautiful the lump was. I'm not gonna go get it. No, I'm gonna go get it because I just saw it. Just because. The side quests are just about having fun. Let me get the sample. So here, here's the sample, remember, that we made. Very pretty. Here's the original. Look at these. Look at this gorgeous lop. Who would have thought? Gorgeous. And here it is ground, ready to go. We're gonna put a tiny little dot. See how it works in that tiny little dot. First time I've ever used this color. Super excited. Also gonna do it last. So <laughs> that is, I looked for coral. Yeah, here's the thing. It's in the sales. Go to the, the website and there's a drop down menu that says sales and then I don't know, you can even select reds. Go into the sales area, select reds, it'll show up. Um, you don't have to ask for it. And go do it right now and let me know how it works because I literally just looked at it maybe two days ago or on Monday and it was still there as.